The state parks in Wisconsin highlight unique geological features, historical significance, or cultural significance to the areas they reside. They also provide educational opportunities for people of all ages to learn about these unique features through self-guided tours or volunteer-provided events in the park. Today, we are visiting Whitefish Dunes State Park in Door County. The major geological feature of the park are the large sand dunes. The location also has historic value by being a valuable fishing harbor from as early as 100 BC. Welcome to the Wisconsin State Parks. Whitefish Dunes State Park most certainly is consistently packed with visitors during the warm summer months of Northeast Wisconsin. This could also be a detractor for visitors who wish to have a less ruckusy experience in the park. The main attractions of Whitefish Dunes State Park are swimming, hiking, and picnicking. County Highway WD or Clarks Lake Road will take you from Highway 57 to the lakeside and into the park which starts before you even reach the gate. When I was young, this stretch of road in the park was tented by trees, creating a canopy of leafy green above you. Now I understand the need for forest management, but I'm still kind of sad that the magic of this drive is not quite the same as it used to be. Once past the gate, your drive is almost over because it's all parking lot, baby. I tend to park more towards the back. You know, less people, less activity, less chance of a ding in your car side. Once you are unpacked and ready to go, don't walk back to the beach on the pavement. You'll clog things up for the other drivers. Take this trail. It's part of the black trail and will help get you to the beach picnic and dunes area safer. 2021 was still COVID times, but the Nature Center building was open to those with masks. I believe they have a small shop inside if you've forgotten something, but for sure they have a video that educates patrons about the people who lived in the area in the past. Just past the Nature Center on the Red Trail is the village site. This is a recreation of what life would look like in the park long ago. The recreation is based on the results of two archaeological digs completed on site in 1986 and in 1992. Areas of the village cover the Middle Woodland people, the Late Woodland people, and the Oneota people. You know what? Since we're already on the Red Trail, let's keep going and take a hike. I visited the park in July, and it was pretty hot out. And the red trail can make it feel hotter, with the trees blocking the wind and the bright sun to cook you from above. But depending on the time of year, the waters of Lake Michigan can be pretty cold. So a little side trek on this trail could potentially warm you up a bit. There are multiple access points to the beach along this trail but we'll keep going almost to the edge of the park. At this point on the trail, hikers can choose to scale the biggest sand dune in the park, Old Baldy. This dune rises 93 feet, which doesn't sound like much, but understand, most of the peninsula is pretty flat. From the top, you can get a good view over the park. It's similar to having a tower to climb like the other parks have. Plus, if you stand on the bench in the far west corner, you can see Clark's Lake through the trees. Ta-da! <laughs> At one time, Clark's Bay would have been part of Lake Michigan, but as the sand built up into the large dunes, eventually this new land cut off the bay and created Clark's Lake. This is all very educational, Joe, but what about the beach? Well, let's walk the beach then. Starting from the southwest corner of the park, 
we have all beach and sand. <laughs> this end of the beach has been set aside for visitors with pets. Who doesn't like a happy dog at the beach? Commies, that's who. Around the halfway point of the beach, animals are no longer permitted, but the Wisconsin beer bellies are here to stay. With a lot of room to spread out, this is a very popular beach area. The water stays shallow for a long time for the young ones and gets deep further out for those who actually like swimming. As I've said before, Lake Michigan can be cold, and the best time for swimming will be between June and September. At this time, Lake Michigan is, from our observations, rising. Which is a wonderful recovery story from the days when I would see my birthplace struggle with low lake levels. But when the water levels exceed the recovery, the shore can start to suffer. This is displayed by the area close to the nature center in the park. Normally, this is not a swimming area due to riptides, but it also looks like they have covered this part of the beach in rocks to try and keep it from being reduced even more than it has been. This makes maneuvering to the beach from the parking area a bit more awkward, as they have funneled people to the red trail and away from the first portion of the beach. Hopefully, this is a temporary inconvenience to park visitors, and we can enjoy walking straight out onto the beach again in the future. Now that we've returned to the nature center, I want to point out the picnicking area over here as well. I cannot express how awesome it was to see so many families using the grills and eating at the picnic tables. That and seeing how multicultural it has become. When I grew up in Door County in the 80s, it was a rare sight to see someone who wasn't white. I'm glad to see that all people are enjoying the beauty of my birthplace. Whitefish Dunes State Park also has a bonus. For those willing to do around a half mile of shore hiking, I love the rocky shoreline and the trees with their gnarled roots. I've hiked this path so many times from a child to an adult and I never tire of it. After the hike, you'll come out at Cave Point County Park, a gem of the Dork County Parks. The problem is, everyone knows it's a gem. So during tourism season, it is swamped. At this small county park, rock jumping has been going on for decades. I've never personally done it. The fear of hitting rocks under the water and crippling my legs continues today. Though if I were there at the right time with the right people, I don't know, I might do it. Swimming here would be rough, but can be done when the lake is less choppy. You just don't see many people doing it. But if Whitefish Dunes is too full, or if you'd like to save a few dollars, the nearby Clarks Lake Beach is also available. But it is no secret. Tons of other people are aware of it and go there for a day on the beach as well. Be prepared for little parking and a lot of people. This park is a beauty with miles of swimmable beach, forested and rocky trails, you can relax or party in the sand and lake. But don't forget about the educational components of this park. Or Old Baldy. Take advantage of an opportunity to see Whitefish Dunes State Park while you are getting out and traveling Wisconsin. <laughs>